Okay, now we're phase three. This is this is getting out of Death Valley, right? Otherwise known, yeah, this is where we escape orbit. This phase is probably the most dangerous phase in your career as a con as a general contractor, a residential general contractor. This phase kills ninety six percent of us every ten years. In other words, we can't we can't beat this boss. So let's dive in how to beat it. In this phase, what's going to end up happening? Th there is two. So in the previous phase, we hired a project manager and a, and another punch list guy in, in in order to grow from one and a half to two and a half million. In this phase, we're going to hire a second project manager and a design director slash in house estimator. Okay, so we're going to break down. What you know? Who's doing what SOP? Who's responsible for what individual tasks? And we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about when to hire them and then the money. Okay. So you. So what'll end up happening here is you, as the owner, are now meeting with realtors and designers to get referrals. You're recruiting. You're always recruiting. Uh, your your W two positions. That's what you're recruiting. Your PMs are recruiting your subs for you, and that's to make this quadratic, right? To expand your reach. You're still the primary sales guy. I have never, ever, 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 ever seen a contractor beat this phase hiring a sales guy. Ever. Okay. So let's talk about this. Um, yeah, we, you know, we need to go to 4 million. So how do we go to 4 million? Well, at fate, remember, remember you hire your, your second punch list guy back in phase two with the start of your second phase two cohort, a phase two cohort is 800 grand. Okay. When you hire that second punch list guy. That is your trigger to elevate your marketing spend from a phase two level at 2,600 and change to a phase three level, okay? So at your one year RC anniversary, when, you've high, when, you, when, you, when you're starting your second $800,000 cohort, that is when you are going to increase your marketing to a phase three level. What is a phase three level? A phase three level, you're jumping from $2,400 a month to $3,200 a month. And what that means is our cohort is going to be about anywhere from 1.2 to one and a half million dollars. It's gonna be closer to one and a half, okay? And it's, it, uh, pro tip, it's easier if you, if, if you adjust your mix to be more additions heavy than regular remodel heavy. That, that'll elevate your, your average ticket to above 300, 400 grand. Less jobs to produce, easier to manage, faster to produce, faster money. But that's a decision you have to make with your success advisor based on your personal capability, the capability of your design team, and the capability of your project managers. Either way, we can get to four million. It's just a question of what operational complexity are we going to accept? Is it going to be in design and project management or is it going to be in opera, you know, operations doing more projects at smaller tickets? Either way, we'll get there. But back to the story. So you turn on your marketing at a phase three level. You put in, you put in yeah, a, 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 you know, so, so, so then your, your, your following cohort. So four months later, you know, you're, 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 you're building your, your second phase two cohort. Now we're going to put to get, we're going to put in our very first $1.2 million cohort. That's going to be anywhere from six to eight jobs. When those are ready to leave design, that is when we hire our second project manager. Because a project manager can handle four to seven active jobs, more like five. 
Like I don't like them having less than four, then it just drags on your profitability. I really don't like having them have more than five because I want them to visit every freaking project every freaking day. And anything more than five, that turns into nine to 12 hour days and leads to burnout. Okay, so just use five as a planning example. So your eight jobs are now leaving design, going into build. At, at you know at a 200 grand average ticket, 1.5, 1.6 million. Okay, it might be seven jobs. Who knows? But the point is, you need you need 1.3 to 1.5 million in this cohort to justify hiring your second project manager. Okay. Now, four four months later. So those jobs go into build. The moment those jobs hit, this is gonna get tricky. The moment those jobs hit, hit uh, framing, right? When the last of those jobs hits framing and we've collected over 57% of, of that cohort. So 57% of, of, of 1.5 million, Six, that's like 900 grand, a little bit less than 900 grand in revenue at a 40% margin. It's going to be somewhere between 290 and 320 grand of gross profit. Okay, that is when we can safely hire our design director estimator. Okay, so when your very first phase three cohort signs their build contracts, that's when we hire the second PM. When that first phase three cohort collects their framing draws, that's when we hire the design director slash estimator. Now this is where every fucking general contractor screws up because they think to be a design build company, they need to have an internal designer, which is, we'll talk about, you can ask me what later why that's stupid you don't, a design builds a process, it's not an org chart. What I want you to hire as your design director is a bona fide estimator, okay? A professional estimator. I want him to have worked in residential and commercial. I don't care if he was a commercial estimator moving over to resi, that's actually preferable because that's an easy switch. Uh, at the low end, I want a, a, uh, a guy that was an estimator for a major home builder like DR Horton. Okay, what I don't want is a failed contractor to, you know, like an old crusty 50, 55 year old contractor who failed at being a GC that wants to get off the tools and make, you know, similar money to what he was making. The reason why he, he never got off the tools by the time he was 55 is because he never fucking learned how to estimate to begin with. All right, I don't want that guy. I want this guy to be in his early 30s or her to be in their early 30s and to have come as an estimator from commercial or as an estimator from a major residential home builder because I can teach somebody who knows how to estimate how to manage the design process. They don't need to know how to design to manage it. In fact, it's better if they don't. What I can't do is take an interior designer and train them how to estimate in time. Does that make sense? Okay, so, so other than that, so get to, 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 and now your design director is now responsible for design management. They are responsible for estimate approval. You're completely out of estimating at this point. And they are writing your contracts. Now you're going to review and be like final, final approval, but you're not actually crunching number. You're not doing any of that. You are just reviewing work and saying, okay, that makes sense, right? Or go back and fix this, right? And so again, you're doing the referral marketing. You're talking to the realtors and designers. You're, you're, you're recruiting your W2 peeps. You're still conducting sales and you're managing your project managers, your admin, your design director. Your design director is now managing the design team of subs. That is off your plate and is managing your virtual estimator.
who is doing the spec writing, the takeoffs, the material quantities, the labor time, the material allowances, the labor allowances. The reason why you still want to lean on that virtual estimator, sure, at two and a half million, this guy can do this entire job. You know, everything, he can do all of this and manage these people and do that. Yes, but at four million, he doesn't have enough time to do this. So keep the virtual estimator. It's only 150 bucks a proposal and, and, and have him take over what you used to do of massaging his work to fit reality. Okay. All right. So again, triggers. Trigger number one, your very first phase three cohort, which is 800,000, at least, I'm sorry, 800,000. No, it, it, it's always the top end divided by three. So 1.35 million, call it 1.4 million. So your first cohort of $1.4 million is leaving design in the same month going to build. That is your trigger to hire your second project manager. And then when that cohort, the last of that cohort begins framing and we collect our last framing draw, that is when we hire our design director estimator who is a, who's coming to us as a professional estimator that we will then teach how to manage design because we already have a process for that. My special ed teaching 62 year old mother who can't even hang a picture frame and cannot read plans could manage your design process with, uh, with the design SOP that we collectively have as RCs. Okay, now let's talk money. The, to, to get out of Death Valley, to graduate phase three, the bottom line is we need to spend $3,200 a month. If we're not going to take the time to meet realtors and designers, we need to spend $3,200 per month. Or we need to meet 40 realtor designers a month. That's two a day. Either or. A price will be paid for this business. You're going to pay for it with sweat. You're going to pay for this with blood. Price is going to be paid. And you'll have the time to do it because now you're not estimating anymore. All you're doing is selling, recruiting, talking to realtors and designers, and reviewing the daily job, yeah, managing your PMs, and managing your design director. That's it. Well, and your admin VA, but that's not that's that's more like a once every two weeks kind of thing. Okay, so we talked about the how to get there. Let's talk about how the money breaks down. Your typical RCGP. That's 1.48 million of gross profit, okay? What increased? Well, your ad spend increased. Your use of the virtual estimator increased. You added a second project manager, okay? You, uh, you and then you added your design director, okay? Let's, let's take a look at percentages and net profits, okay? So your overhead, your overhead really didn't change, right? It was 19.8 in part one of Death Valley. In part two, it's going to go down to about 19. It's, gonna, it's not going to change that much. But the good news is we can finally afford to take a full 10% profit. And we're going to need that in order to hire, at, to, to transition from a virtual staff estimator to an in-house estimator to keep up with the volume of projects you're doing. Because at this point, this, the business is too, too big to, to have a single point of failure that's halfway around the world. It's too big. So we need this money to be able to afford two project directors who, yeah, they're commission only, but they are getting draws and an estimator in order to grow to the next level. Okay. So now this is where it sucks. This is why this right here is why this is why guys who even intellectually understand how to get out of Death Valley very rarely do because it's going to take a pay cut to get out of Death Valley because you need to take you need to have that full profit dip 10% profit dividend to, re, to, to reinvest in the company as working capital 
in order to bring in that a good full-time estimator and good two good project directors in order to completely pull you out of sales and grow the company okay so in 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 in, in yeah it, death valley it, it, if you do this slow it's going to take 2 years if you do this fast it's going you're going to go through phase Two and phase three in 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 one one full year. Just rip that bandaid off. Your take home is going to be somewhere between eighty five and ninety five thousand, or yeah, it's going to be probably about ninety five thousand. So anyway, it's just that when you're leaving Death Valley, that's when your paycheck is going to it's going to get pretty thin. In fact, uh, you're going to be um, your your project managers are making more money, way more money than you. Your estimator is making the same amount of money as you. It's going to suck. But let's talk about the next phase and why we, why we make this sacrifice. Okay? So I'll see you in phase four.